Mastering the Present Perfect Continuous Interrogatives Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our exciting journey into English grammar. Today, we're going to focus on something very interesting. Answering interrogative sentences in the present perfect continuous tense. Let's unravel this together. To start with, Let's take a quick refresher on the present perfect continuous tense. It's used when we talk about an action that started in the past, has continued into the present, and may still be going on. Remember the structure, subject plus have, has plus been plus verb ing. Examples. They have been studying for the exam. I have been living here for five years. Moving on, let's get to the core of our discussion, interrogative sentences. In the present perfect continuous tense, they follow the structure. Have, has plus subject plus been plus verb ing. Examples. Have they been studying for the exam? Has she been working on the project? Now, the trickiest part, answering these interrogative sentences. For positive responses, we use, yes, subject plus have, has been. For negative responses, it's, no, subject plus have, has not been. Examples, yes, they have been studying. No, she has not been working. Often, it's not enough to just say, yes, or, no. You may need to add more information. In such cases, you can continue the sentence after your answer. Remember to stick to the tense, present perfect continuous. Examples. Yes, they have been studying since morning. No, she has not been working on the project because she was sick. Well done, learners. We've cracked the nut of answering interrogative sentences in the present perfect continuous tense. Keep practicing with different examples and in different contexts. It's the best way to make your learning stick. Remember, learning is a continuous process, just like the present perfect continuous tense. Until next time, happy learning.